funny topic. It's a funny topic indeed. <laughs> it's a funny topic to talk about, man. It's funny, it's funny in general, I think. Um, fatherless kids will seek fatherhood in external places. And in parenthesis, I put Andrew Tate. And this isn't an Andrew Tate hate video. Oh, no. I actually quite like Andrew Tate because he saved my life. When I was depressed, I heard him say depression wasn't real and you should take more responsibility and accountability as a young man. You should be acting with a sense of urgency and rage and direct that's direct towards that, so direct that's something productive and you know, fix your life and become rich. Because if you don't try to become rich yourself and nobody else will come to help you, so that type of thing, that type of over positive message, that was the message I needed to hear. And I was, I was a Tate fan way before Tate was popular. Don't ask any of my friends, but you can you can take my word here, you can take my word here. I was a Tate fan way before he was he was popular and I sent him a lot of emails and he responded to me and I, I, I firmly believe that it was him, it could be in the staff or whatever, but at this time I don't think he was doing stuff. I think he was still perfectly responding to emails. This was before he got ultra viral guys. This is when he had, we were still on YouTube at 30,000. If we can find this the screenshot, I think it's somewhere down the line. He had 32,000 uh, subscribers at the time. He just went on uh, the Your Mom's House podcast. It was a few months, days, or whatever before he went on Your Mom's podcast. Your Mom's House podcast. I think it was like, um, it was 2021 and 2023. Here I am. It was literally like October, November 2021. And now, up two years almost coming up to the year and a half of following him I have like I'll admit to it I haven't been in the best place possibly I could be in a much better place uh, financially mentally physically etc etc but that's another topic for another video I want to put like I'll make it super quick but like Andrew T failed me but it's actually just in the essence of me I failed myself like I didn't work hard enough I didn't get to the place where I should have been etc etc it's, it's, it's one of those it's one of them ones it's one of those ones, and I think that, yeah, it's just, I, I was a bitch, I was being a bitch, like, holy fuck, a lot of areas, and honestly, I'm, I, I, I would laugh at the video topic that like it is, but it's quite a serious topic for me, because I am a fatherless child, and I'm one of many millions of fatherless young men out there in the world today, and I think not, none of, not enough of us talk about this topic. And the problem is, because none of us talk about this topic, it often goes undermined, and it's quite funny. Another father's child, it's a meme, but it's probably a father's child making the father's child memes. It's a whole, like, it's a whole fucking, it's a whole, how do I say this, like, circle jerk of father's children being father's children. I mean, that's how we're seeing so much, especially on the internet, but I think on the internet it's more sensationalized, it's more of a thing, a rampant. But there's a lot, a lot, a large majority of father's children on the internet compared to real life. Real life, you still see that like, normal, somewhat normal families. However, the male is the man usually never like oh, a man, a real macho man. He's in shape. He's got fucking, he's got money. You know, he has, he has everything a man would uh, desire: six pack, whatever, money, good wife, fast car, nice house. You know. It's often rare to find in real life unless you live in a good neighborhood. And yeah, I don't fucking live in a good neighborhood, but I don't live in a good <laughs> so I mean, it's 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 just nice for the hood. I'm with the truth. It's a, it's a much more upstate area. Um, it's changed a lot since the last 20 years. 10 years ago it was much worse, but yeah, 10, it's, it's chilled out a lot now, so I think it does good. I'm, I'm going on a tangent here. <coughs> you know, father's children find father's external places, and I'm gonna put myself here, but I'll elaborate. For example, a popular YouTuber called Hamza, like a lot of people look up to Hamza as like their older brother, like father figure type of thing. Same with Andrew Tate. Because of the fact that like he's he not only is in shape, he's like he's getting his beautiful life. As a person point he shows vulnerability, like yeah, I make mistakes, yeah, I fuck up sometimes. But for the most part I control my emotions, I control myself, etc. Like, so those type of things, right? And you get to see him more, more human, you get to relate to him more, you get to see his shortcomings. And um, but as a result, you see like, a rampant amount of young men also hyper obsessed with success, at least financial success from my eyes. And, you know, physical um, thing, like, you know, physical fitness success wise as well. 
because a lot of young men, it's not even a lot of men, like all young men are built or hardwired to, to think, succeed and grow and, and conquer and achieve and to become competent as individuals. I feel like a, it's a normal young man thing to do, but we kind of just never knew that and we directed it towards um, outside activity like video games and because of it, it kind of just, you know, our, our desire for achieving in real life got replaced with the desire to achieve a video game, which is what I'm seeing a lot. Like, I want to, like, I got three big goals in, in the video game at the moment Apex Legends. I already hit Master. Now that I'm, I'm getting up, coming up, I'm second thinking my, um, I'm second guessing, re guessing my fourth goal, which is get Master again. Uh, not on a different account, get on the same account, because that's fucking too much hell. Get um, finish the battle pass. Get a twenty bomb. Get a four K. Those are my three big goals at the moment. Those big goals, I will spend countless hours toiling over gaming, 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 gaming. Shut the fuck up, gaming. Five eight one Gaming, gaming, gaming. But my real world intentions, my real world goals, they dissipate. You understand? They will dissipate, and that my desire to achieve in real life is replaced with the desire to achieve video okay. game. And a lot of other people can see videos quite healthily. I've seen. Oh, I just play video games, which I find bullshit, by the way, because I'm, I'm a fucking addict. And I can't believe other people will do that. Well, I literally pay countless hours. <laughs> and then people were like, when I started streaming, people would start saying to me, like, oh, I can't believe you play countless hours of video games. I'm like, bro, I played countless hours of video games before. Before, I, I used to play countless hours as well. And you're just seeing it in public now. I'm putting it on the public eye so you can see it. That's it. Done. <laughs> that's, that's that's pretty much it. I was playing four or five hours, six hour sessions before. You just didn't realize because I wasn't streaming. Because they usually have like routine, like one hour, two hours a day, and they kind of like you get to appreciate the game a bit, a bit more. But for me, I'm a I'm a fucking I'm a fucking only child idiot, bro. Father's child, only child idiot. I got a monitor, I bought it myself. I got a PS4. I got a good setup going on. I quite I like myself. I have nothing to play with my setup. I got good headphones, fifty pound headphones. I have nothing to complain about, like literally nothing to fucking complain about. The only problem is me. You know how a girl says, it's not you, it's me. That, you know, has a lie. It, that's not a lie, man. The truth is, it's, 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 it's literally me. Every single time, like, my bed, I, I have a routine to like, make it when I, as soon as I get up. Same thing with my headphone. Like, I put the USB, back, no, I don't put the USB. I put it, I put the headphone back into the case. I put the case up on my, on my, um, my bookshop right there. And I haven't done it this time because I know I'm probably going for a sweaty game session tomorrow. I don't know, I think I won't do this. So I don't know. But that's irrelevant. But. Yeah, I won't do it. Oh, I like, I, I'm, with these videos, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, so I'm sort of pausing. But I'm thinking to myself, like, holy shit, I actually am going to go for another. One hour, two hour, three hour, maybe a six hour session tomorrow as well. And instead of reading for all six hours, I instead play video games. Like, if you don't admit your mistakes, what Andrew Tate said is it's basic advice almost. It's nothing new, but someone strong needed to tell you. If you don't admit your mistakes, you just gonna repeat them. If some weak person tells you, like physically weak, mentally weak, fucking physically weak, you'd be like, nah, I don't believe you. Because that's how, that's how young men are, are, are wired. Like, it's, just, it's just like that. You know, it's just like that. Yeah, how the fuck oh, can we be wired differently? We're just built like that. If someone big, strong, and rich doesn't tell us, hey, you're 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 weak, you're poor, you're fat, you're ugly, this is a problem. You need to ch change it now. Instead of just completely bullying for you, they bully you a bit, and they tell you that you need to change it now. They give you the positive or uh, reinforcement, one of them, one of the motivation. It's a problem with, like pure bullies, like um, I don't think there's no take on Andrew, Andrew Tate. Like he flexes the brokies, but he like he shows you how to get rich. No take just bans you. You know? And then he just flexes on how much he's better than you and he doesn't like promote him good habits. I like before I've seen or I've heard. I've watched some of his streams, watch some of his clips before. Um perhaps I should watch more but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> the fuck? Chat can make some bad him, some bad him, some <laughs> I don't know man. I have like I got like um a baseline the death of a lot of he's done nothing to me. I don't really care. And um I'm actually grieve with some mistakes as well. Nothing too crazy like that. You should go <laughs> off yourself now. You serve zero purpose. 
That's crazy. Bro. How is he saying on the internet? How is his legacy? That's crazy. But actually, wow. Anyways, yeah. I think that despite this video topic being kind of funny, it is quite quite emotionally um, hurting this um, close to me because I'm as a, a young man growing up, I'm gonna have to find. I, I always hate those comments, but it's like it's, it's almost true. Like you come from a position of I understand and I relate. Like I, as a Hispanic, I understand this Mexican culture thing. Like I always hate that shit because like who the fuck cares? Like nobody gives a fuck. But I can say the same thing for this right now. Like I am a young man growing up. I'm going to have to become my own man. I'm one of many young men growing up that are going to have to become their own man. And your mother can't tell you to become a man because she's a woman. A woman cannot tell a man to be a man, and a man cannot really tell a woman to be a woman, to be honest. And then, like, in the actual literal sense, like, uh, you should go, the period, blah, 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 like, any, anything that's uh, biologically related to a woman, a man usually cannot say, unless it's like not be a hoe, something like that. But that's literally uh, common sense, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> that's controlling, you, you, should, you shouldn't go to the club, you shouldn't go to clubs at night because you could be a hoe. Duh. That's not controlling, that's just fucking common sense because that's keeping all nature dynamic, whatever it's, it's irrelevant to the main topic. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny, it's irrelevant to the main topic, but that is true, like, it, it could be seen as controlling. But the idiot. How can that be controlling, bro? Just don't be a hoe. It goes both ways. Motherfucker, man. If you got a real good girl in your hands and you're already sleep, always sleeping with other girls, bro, that's gonna fuck up the relationship, bro. If you got a real a hole in your hands and you're fucking other girls, she's like, oh my god, you're fucking other girls. And she's gonna be like, she's, she's in love with a toxic, like, I like crying and shit, like, what the fuck? You don't wanna, you don't wanna go like that as your wife, as your girlfriend, even. You wanna, you wanna in the rotation, bro. You wanna the rotation of weekly ref refreshes, bro. Refreshments. <laughs> You don't want them as your wife, like what the fuck? You don't want them as practice. Practice what? For your wife? No, yeah, I think fatherless. Is that what creates fatherless children though? Because either these girls end up killing a life, or they end up having father children. It's kind of a lose lose situation. Nice to. I don't. I'm, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I'm kind of like half off on the pro abortion thing, like, or the um, or no, no abortion, pro abortion, no abortion. What is it again? No. Anti abortion, pro abortion. I don't know what to feel about that. Because if I extrapolate that, if my mom decided to abort me because she was going to be a single mom, then how the fuck I wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't be on this journey. I wouldn't be recording this video. It's a unique take on it. I think I don't think anyone's actually said that. Like, how? if if my if my mother decided to abort me, bro, because she's gonna be single mom, which is like the bad news, <laughs> bad news, <laughs> just bad news. Yeah, I wouldn't have dreams, like, like you know, becoming rich, successful. I wouldn't have dreams, literally in the literal sense as well. I wouldn't be sleeping and dreaming, and dreaming. I wouldn't be going through trials and tribulations in life. I wouldn't be recording this video. I would not. I would not exist. Period. I haven't split this topic, but that's a separate topic. Like, I think I gotta, I gotta talk to a lot of people to make a consensus. And they gotta get, it. and they're starting to shout at me like, "You should, you should, root, you should root for pro abortion now," or like, "You should root for anti abortion now." I'm, I'm gonna look at them like as monkeys. They don't fucking, you know, but they're quite clear and precisely. Uh, they're just Neanderthals. They're fucking prehistoric. That's what, that's what's gonna happen. Because like, quite a personal thing to me because. Everyone, everyone I think in front of single moms until your mom is a single mom and you see her struggling and like, you're not a fucking, you're not a asshole child like, oh, yeah, I'm not struggling, I hate women but that's your fucking mother bro it's like, what if the second son wasn't right that she wasn't three or four <sighs> this father, this kid, she's, it needs to stop I think it's gonna stop from me like, I'm, I'm gonna be monogamous. Um, during my younger years, I might be rotations here and there. 
three, four, five kills at max. But um, but I mean, wow. Like it just with his double sense instead of like seeing how well, I'm important, like, or whatever, or whatever. But I think that it needs to end with me. Uh, this cycle is vicious. It's deadly. It's, it's heartbreaking. His father is kitchen, his mother was vulnerable to state, like, you will fucking in front of me anyway. I think it's funny that they will, but, uh, fuck it, bro. If you're on the internet, you're gonna, you're gonna be made fun of. Motherfucker, man. Holy shit, like, I, I look at kids with a father, I'm not like some Naruto shit looking at kids with a father. I, ne I literally never gave, gave a fuck. Because my mom, she did, she did, uh, she, she tried her best to raise me as a, both mother and father, but she can't be a disciplinarian and I think loving as well. Um, to try her best. Yeah, a lot of fathers, kids will say this as well. Like, yeah, she tried her best, but it was, or what? Or mainly, was she wasn't, if she wasn't good, because she wasn't the man. She's a woman man. The man has to be the man. You know, not having that dynamic, you know, fuck breaks you. Maybe it's the end with me. Like, I think I need to be monogamous. I want to raise my kids in a stable home, five children. Inshallah, a bit nice, big home, and then they come live in the hood like me, and a little bunk bed. They think, oh, this, this place is shit. I hate this place." And they start sleeping on mattresses like me, and they start having to record videos like me. I'm like, "You guys, you need to make your own fucking money. Like, start making taking a month, then you get to live in the mansion with me and your mom. Or you can't live in the shack." And then they're gonna have little stories to tell them themselves, I the think, and they're gonna repeat the cycle as well because I know they are. Oh, it's too me, I can't repeat it. Nah, you're gonna be like, oh, fuck. You oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. What has, what has the world come to, bro? Like, I love Andrew Tate, but the fact is, like, he doesn't know who I am. I sent him emails. He probably, they probably heard of my name once. I sent very passionate emails. But he doesn't know who I am. He is. I don't know if I see something a bit out of pocket. Like he is not your father, bro. He's a very, very positive role model, but he's not your father. Same with Hamza. Hamza is not your father. I can't be like, oh, but I am. Like, guys, I'm not. I'm. Like, I'm not your older brother. I would love to be. I would love to have like, a community like that. We're helping each other, but then again, it's a community with um, mutual beneficial for friendships, mutually beneficial friendships. If we try to cover COVID anymore, we could. But like, with guy relationships, it's either like we bond super quick, super fast, or then like, as a uh, fuses, the fuse burns out really fast as well. As quickly as it, a thing, as it burns, and as bright as it burns, it fades away. Just as quick. As a, as not really quick as it, quick as it burns, it fades away just as quick. As quickly as it ignites, no, as fast as it ignites. As fast. I don't know what the fuck to say here. That's a stupid quote, but you know, you, you get the gist. You get the gist. Hey, you water, man. I'm quickly changing. You're talking my ass off for 20 minutes. Hamza doesn't know you. Andrew doesn't know you. I don't love Andrew Tate, bro. And like I would love to meet him one day, so he could actually get to know me. I think a lot of you guys might feel this way as well. Then I'm gonna start to know the truth. Like get the value as much value as you can from him. Maybe meet him one day, pay respects, be on your with along along on your way, realizing you have your own life and your own journey to go on as well. But you don't have to take the Andrew Tate. Uh, I make my own webcam studio path as well. Like you, you, you could take your own path, bro. So that fits you the most. Something that's within your boundaries you can do that you can't I think I kind of wrapped up this video here all those kids teach fatherhood and thing. I think being honest and admitting the truth a lot of the time and I think trying to analyze your actions is probably the best way to go about it like Hey, my mom kind of fucked me up here, traumatized me here. Maybe I will do that to my kids, or maybe I will do that to my kids in a certain way, 
because they can use their trauma to benefit them but maybe not for this type of kid or maybe another type of kid but for this type of kid who's a fucking born savage the born killer like I was like I was when I was young I was I was that weak pussy but then I became that born killer I became that um, almost um, thing a born killer or born fucking a grinder I literally fucking always work always hustle. I'm the boss and the hustler and then after that I abandoned the hustle I'm just the boss and now I'm fucking making decisions for my company when I said or decisions for my people you know once you reach that point Then you can you, you can you do that because like a lot of like Patrick Bedeva was talking about it as well like he tried he's trying to insert challenge into his kids he's trying to sort that trauma almost like men men with trauma are often the most successful but yeah, it's it's um it's more like rightly placed trauma it isn't like PTSD shaking trauma it's like hey we're gonna get fucked up here I don't know what I'm gonna eat tomorrow I'm fucking terrified I'm literally hungry all the time. I eat one meal a day. I'm, I don't know if the meal a day is going to keep coming. I need to make more money. Mom's working three jobs. Something like that. It's kind of like an imangashi. That's what a, a young man needs. Because if a young man gets that, bro, he, he'll become complete as an individual. He'll, get, he'll go through the entire success route. It's like, it, analyzing that bit, sitting down to talk and think about that so you, in the future you can make a better decision. I think the best way to go about it. I think I can say that for anything, but some things you just have impulse. I'm gonna think in bed. I don't know, like, man. Man. You know, my friend asked me. See my, my fat. My friend asked me, like, so what is it like not having a dad? I, I said, like, just normal. It was normal, like. Right? I just never had a dad in the first place. Like, I just don't really give too much. Oh fuck! And I watched a reality TV show called Blink Empire, where one of the Vietnamese girls, um, she had no dad growing up, and then like, I kind of thought to myself for a moment, like, what would it be like to have a dad? And I was like, just some guy in my house. That's it. Makes my life be a bit better. I live. I'll probably live in a, in a better house. Yeah, probably live in a better house. Um. I would mean, be pressure for two people. I could never get rid of it. That's it. Um, I'm sort of my spit there because like, I, I, it's normal. I've never had a dad in the first place. You ask me this question, like, I already fucked, dude. It's sensitive. But um, yeah, I just, I just brush it off. Don't really care. I look at our Davi cares as well. Davi watches videos as well. He doesn't watch my videos. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird situation. It's a weird situation, man. It's a fucking weird situation. Like, what can I say? Nothing. Anyways, that's it. I'll, I'll probably be as best to my kids as possibly can. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Oh, you mean right now? Tell me in the comments down below. And nobody watching this video. It's odd random one person watching my video. Please, please comment below. Please, please, please. <laughs> it's gonna be virtually e begging, bro. Oh, that's crazy, that's crazy. I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace. Live.